What's up, guys? It's Rantium here, and, uh, guys, well, um, I've got some bad, bad news, and, uh, it's stuff, it's news that I really did not ever want to have happen to my Skyrim Let's Play, uh, but it's news that I kinda, it was always in the back of my head, uh, but it's stuff that I did not want to happen, but I feel as if it's finally happened, and that news is... I think the Let's Play and the, the mods and the deleting of mods and the, the uninstalling and the reinstalling of mods and all that stuff, I think it's finally caught up to me. And you know, the people preach, you shouldn't do that, and I think I know why. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just found out why. So, let me go ahead and walk you through exactly what uh, went on. So... I got up today to uh, to record uh, some mod showcases and stuff like that. I had some laid out, and um, I got on, got on, checked my mods and stuff like that, and there was an update for the Ordinator. So I went in there, I updated it, it was fine. And then I redid the load order, put it back where it was at, and everything was fine. Done that a million times with all of these mods. But this time it was different. When I went back into the mod load order, or when I went back into the mod menu after, um, like, reshuffling the mods and stuff like that, it said that it still had the update after I had updated it. So I went in, and I updated it again, but this time it went straight into 100%, and it got stuck. So I was like, okay, so that's kind of interesting. So I decided to kind of, I exited out of the, uh, the ordinator thing, and then I went back into it, and it said it was still at 100%. So I tried to exit out of the, the mod menu, and it said, are you sure you want to exit? Because, well, it's still downloading. There's a, there's, as it says, download still in progress. Are you sure you want to exit? And I was like, no. And so I let it sit there for a second, see if it needed to spool down. And I figured, sure, let's just go ahead and exit. And then I went ahead and checked my load order and stuff like that, and sure enough, the two mods that I had, they're not there. The uh, uh, Apocalypse Magic and, uh, or, or, yeah, the Apocalypse Magic and the Ordinator, they are not there. They were supposed to be below Fendrix Magic Evolved, but they are not there. And so I got to thinking, well, maybe I need to Google this and see if anyone else has had a problem. And so I went ahead and checked on some forums and stuff like that. And sure enough, there was something um, that was going on. And uh, I had I had seen something known as Phantom Space, something like that, Phantom Data or something like that, where you see how I have free space up there. It's 652 megabytes or megabits or whatever it is, and I've used 4.36 gigabytes worth of my mod storage. Well, apparently there's such thing as phantom storage or phantom space where sometimes with a mod, it will it won't install or it's already installed and it'll like look as if it's not installed and it will be kind of deleted or it won't be deleted. I have no idea what it is, guys, but all I know is these two mods right here are broken for me. And the problem with that is I went into my load. I went into Phoenix right here. I went into my most recent load. I went into Skyrim and stuff like that. I was getting ready to do that. Obviously, you can see those are some of the mods that I had uninstalled. Granted, I know you're not supposed to uninstall so many at the, at the same time, but that's actually not my fault. I actually had to clear the five gigabytes of reserved space and redo my mod load order. So that's why I'm missing so many of those mods is because some of those actually aren't even available anymore. Um, but what happened was when I went into my load uh, in Skyrim and tried to save, it comes up with a menu and it says load slash save operation failed, which means I can't save or load anything without these mods in my load order, which is a very, very bad thing if I'm trying to continue on a Let's Play and stuff like that. Now check this out, I'll go ahead and hit save, and it says the save and load operation has failed. So, that's a kinda shitty thing, guys, uh, and it's really, I have to attribute it to me. It's really my own fault, uh, they say not to do that, and it's kind of one of those things that I kind of ignored, but with it being the first time that I've been um, exposed to mods and stuff like that, uh, we got pretty damn far. What is this episode? Uh, we got to 153 episodes um, with mods. 
I'd say that's pretty damn good. But this time, guys, what we're going to do, because I'm sure a lot of you were probably waiting for me to say, well, what's going on with the Let's Play? So, all of the problems aside, what's going to happen to the Let's Play? Well, what's going to happen is... I'm going to do some, some mod showcases. I'm going to do a mod showcase for this Sunday. So tomorrow there will be a mod showcase for this Sunday. And then starting this Tuesday, I'm going to start up um, another uh, another Let's Play. We're going to we're gonna bring Phoenix back in. But instead of going back through all the main quest lines and all the side quest lines and all that stuff, we're going to try and do some more of these modded quests and stuff like that. Hopefully we can get going with all that stuff. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty, plenty more quest mods and all that stuff. Uh, there's, I'm sure there's so much more we can see. And who knows, we can just do uh, a bunch of tours around Skyrim and stuff like that with maybe some houses and um, a ton of other stuff, guys. And so now we can kind of focus on more mod showcases uh, and all that stuff. Maybe the videos can be a little bit longer with mod showcases. Um, but the Let's Play might be a little bit different as far as, like, um, quests go. So, like, before, with all the quests and stuff like that, it was more linear, how each episode would be kind of like a quest, into another quest, into another quest. This might be a little different. I'm still kind of up in the air about how I'm going to do it. It's going to take me a second to figure it out, but I just want you guys to know that it's not going to go anywhere. The mod showcases are not going to go anywhere as long as I can get this shit working again. Good lord. Um, but I just wanted you guys to know that I was having a lot of problems with this, but I'm going to have to delete that save file. These, that save file, that's my single player one, but, uh, the Phoenix save file, I'm definitely going to have to delete and we're going to have to start over. But not all is lost guys, because now that we're going to kind of scrap that let's play, um, well, not scrap it. We're going to finish it. That's what I'll go ahead and say. We're just going to kind of continue along with a different one. Um, there's been some really cool mods that I've found inside of, like, the, uh, the EMB parts and, like, the art style stuff like that, all those mods, that I really kind of want to check out and, uh, and see. And now that I'm more comfortable and familiar with modding, I think I feel more safe about starting fresh with different mods, and now that I know how save files work, I can be more smart about uninstalling and saving and stuff like that. So, guys, it's not all bad. Trust me, it's not all bad. We're gonna be fine. And we're going to continue ha to have a ton of fun exploring Skyrim and all that stuff. Now, as far as the um, the stuff in um, our current Let's Play with uh, Ben the Rye and in Hammerfell, unfortunately, because, because we're going to lose all that progress, we can't go back there unless we go through that quest mod again. Now, that leaves the question up to you guys. Do we reinstall the uh, the Quest of the Grey Cow? Um... And then redo it to get to the end to do those side quests. Or do we say screw it and then just continue on with doing other quest mods and stuff like that. And uh, just go off and do our own thing. Uh, so let me know what you guys think down there in the comments. Um, and uh, yeah, just let me know some of your guys' feedback. So as unfortunate as this is, guys, there is a silver lining. We're going to be able to do some really cool stuff with new mods. There's so much new stuff out there. Uh, there's a lot of new, uh, like, ENB, like I said, new weather mods, new lighting mods, all this crazy cool stuff, uh, and I'm really, really excited to check it out, guys. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of an update video. I didn't want to keep you guys, or I didn't want to leave you guys hanging, leave you guys in the, uh, in the dark, uh, and I wanted to keep you guys updated. So, I love you guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Uh -huh.